Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another eSports Talk video. Hope you're all doing well and welcome. My name is Jake, your host for today's topic, which we're going to try and keep brief and short for all of you. You know, we've talked a lot about Mixer. We've talked a lot about Twitch and YouTube and Facebook Gaming, all of the platforms out there which are trying to race in this streaming war, which Twitch is certainly winning. Now brought to us by eSports Charts as well is some, uh, I would say, maybe some not good looks for a platform like Mixer, which has already had plenty of bad looks we have talked about. Let me also preface because every time I talk about this, we got a lot of Mixer fans who hate on me. If this was Twitch, reverse the roles, this was YouTube, any platform which was struggling like Mixer is currently, I would cover it all the same. We're a news channel, guys. I bring you that news. And in the war of Twitch versus Mixer, Twitch has never been in a bigger lead. These are actually brought to us by last month's numbers as well. But those numbers do preach a lot about Mixer issues, which have already been pretty big ever since the signing of Ninja and Shroud and Goth. Besides those three three big signings, none ever since. Ever since those re-signings to Mixer, we have Twitch re-signing even bigger names, and we also have YouTube signing some gigantic names and channels as well when it comes to YouTube. Twitch and YouTube up here, Mixer, Facebook, Caffeine, the rest of them kind of down here is the general thing. And alongside that, the latest news we did cover were layoffs at Mixer. Now these numbers even more detrimental as you guys can see. Well, when it comes to Mixer, yes, what Ninja is doing is very, very impressive. He is the number one streamer on Mixer, probably will continue to be, and Shroud rightfully so, just behind Tim. You do notice though the third biggest channel on the entire platform, that's Monster Cat, a 24-hour streamed music channel. Another concerning thing on this is actually Goth, who is barely a borderline top 10 streamer for the platform, and yes, one of their bigger signings who cannot even beat a peak viewership of 3,000 viewers. You guys look at the bottom part of that as well. When it comes time for overall website, the overall across the entire website, across all of their streamers, their supposed peak viewership. I do think the Mixer one here is a bit lower than I think it's supposed to be. I would guess it's probably around 40,000 viewers across the entire website, which, albeit when you compare that to Twitch's peak viewership across the entire platform of 2.4 million viewers, yeah, it's still not even close between these two. And again, when it comes to a final point as well, you take the top Twitch streamers out there. I will say Summit, I, I, I knew he was big, right? We know he's big, but his numbers are astronomical. Viewership and impression-wise, that guy is certainly in a realm of his own. But leading off of which, we also see a gigantic thing here with Twitch is not only their gigantic streamers, which heavily outdo those of Mixer and other platforms in terms of peak viewership and overall watch time, it's the platforms and tournament or organizers they have signed, ESL for Counter-Strike, LEC, LCK for League of Legends, Rainbow Six, and others as well are top dogs when it comes to overall Twitch viewership. So tournament organizers choosing Twitch over YouTube and other platforms because that's where you can get the best numbers and thus bring in your own partners and sponsors for your events. If, if that ever ends, maybe we can see a bigger sway for YouTube as it slowly is becoming a thing as YouTube is signing more TOs. And then very, very lastly, you notice this, guys, if you even take the last one, the number 10 spot for Twitch and their overall viewership um, as well, that being the LEC, it almost encompasses the same amount of viewership as all 10 of the top 10 Mixer streamers combined for the entire month. That's incredible. That is absolutely astonishing how dominant Twitch is over Mixer right now. I think YouTube, if we had those numbers, and maybe we will someday, is certainly much closer as we all know, but Mixer is so far behind Twitch and we have known this time and time again, you gotta wonder if they are going to make a move, when will that move be made, and what can that move possibly be to close this gap which has not closed at all since their big signings. I am still a huge fan of both platforms, all streaming platforms definitely have their own advantages and of course they're good streamers and content creators and TO is going to them, but it's simply not a comparison right now to compare Mixer to YouTube to Twitch. You really can't do it much longer. You got to think sometime soon, Mixer has to make a move. What will it be? Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy. As per usual, if you guys got a story, I would love to cover it for you. Until then, stay safe, stay clean, stay indoors, and stay watching videos. All right? I'll see you guys back here sometime soon.